Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k. Um, Chaos Space Marines was yesterday and today it's Rogue Traders. My name is Saiken. Today we're continuing the blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. We're still trying to get to the palace and young warden approached us and says your lordship Private Camille Regias, ready to escort you to the command center for your meeting with the governor. I regret, uh, regret to say that the convoy sent to meet you was ambushed. We took critical losses in heavy fighting as it's a rebel. In other words, I'm the only survivor. However, the rebel forces uh, are destroyed as well. We can set out for the command center. Well, very good. Your uniform looks odd on you, soldier, as if it belongs to someone else. Apologies, your lordship, it's a new unif uh, uniform. The guards are a difficult situation right now, so we're often issued with whatever is left, and it's not always the right size. Uh, Cassia says, your mouth is full of mud, soldier. Are you hiding something behind the beaming hues of faith and loyalty? What is it? Uh, fear, I guess, in times like these. If you give uh, in to your weakness, you're done for. And I'm not done with life just yet. Hmm. How did you make it out if your entire convoy perished? The Emperor protected me. I didn't run your lordship. If that is what were, uh, what you were thinking, I was uh, by my commander's side until the very end. I shot the last rebel from a gang that attacked us, but alas, the captain succumbed to his wounds and the others had already died. Sounds suspicious, SF. Powers unseen uncover my path. I don't think that young warden is truthful with it. And why are you behind us, huh? Look no further. Intriguing. Why are you behind us, young warden? Well, this looks like a perfect ambush. Embrace true power. Grant me the wisdom to perceive. Hmm. Something here ain't right. And we're stepping right into a big, fat, juicy bow. trap. Temple door does not budge. It might be blocked by the rubble on the other side. Okay, well. well then let's move on. Our tech priest opens that door, uh, that uh, thing. Attention to detail is the key to success. The Emperor sets my path. Never doubt me. The young men, the remains of my squad, once were put down by the rebellion, giving them the last honors as they deserved as soldiers in a righteous battle. Glory to the fallen warriors, they will not be forgotten. Let's keep war uh, walking. I'm Can we restless. disarm that trap? Or are you telling me the disarming sensor is... Ah, it's in the wall. I see. All right. The world trembles beneath my feet. The Emperor protects, and there are a couple of rebel rebels. Please follow me. You arrived at your destination, and yeah, now we'll, you will die. Yeah, well, that is completely and utterly shocking. The absurdity of your struggle amuses me. Show them no mercy. Time completely surprised someone. here. Yeah. <sighs> Why is the ringing? All right, Albert. Uh, four starters. Indeed. 
Brace for impact. Adabert himself is, I think, burning for 10. Hmm, does that cure burning? Also removes bleeding. Hmm. I don't know how we are cl uh, cleaning up the burning. But I guess we're going to figure out uh, figure that out. We should deal with this. For starters, let's this will be 6 to 12 points of damage, and this here 8 to 10. I think we're just going to knock you guys over. I like that Victory idea. Is Good swing. At your beck and call. It will be done. And we're taunting all of them in true of a large fashion. All right, Idira. Listen, if I was to shoot you guys, you would take quite a bit of damage. I like that. Uh, but before we're doing any of that, off to into cover, then Ablard gets some dodge, I like that. Everybody else gets some dodge as well because we're currently under fire. Oh wow, look at that. Veil degradation 11. Are you kidding me? Here we go. Oh, Pain and duty go hand in hand. Unreal. And by that I mean the Veil Degregation. Well, it's just unreal. Alright. We're sort of in cover. I like that I... I like that position. It's not great, but it is okay. Good hits. This is unacceptable. Oh, nice, and that's the first kill. She just needs two to go for Revel and Slaughter. So we're actually quite, go uh, quite good. Um, Tech Priest. I like the recoil reduction. That isn't bad. The other option is to move up a semi-melee. Currently we're in a nice protective field. That's not bad either. The other option is... ...to get these guys down. Mm. One enemy creature reduces the damage dealt from the target. And I'm wondering who that creature could be. All of the rebels are not very high level. I think that fire starter is not a bad idea. Let's try to do exactly that. Machine spirit banishment.
We're also analyzing him deeper. We're then taking a shot. Good shot. And then... We're giving everybody extra damage with joint analysis. Alright, cool. I'm here, maggot. Stay vigilant. Let's make it quick. Uh, just curious, if I was to be here. Okay, not exactly if I was to be here. How is this going to look here? Ooh, oh, that's going to look very good. All right, moving to I here. Tomes of military tactics. The littlest stair is the biggest absolute massive nuke that we're having. Um, I think Saiken gets the bonus. And then we still do have a personal bonus for Abelard. Voice of command it is. All right, Saiken moves up. What a satisfying <laughs> demise. That is, that was a satisfying kill. That was great. I like the sniper. He just evaporated two of these guys. And whilst we're at it, Purpose guides me. crowd control via domination. All right, cool. We good. Show me what you've got. I will do my reduce to dust. Fantastic. Cleaves his way into our hearts. Abelard is, I think, my favorite character so far. Very much duty bound. Doesn't take shit from anyone. Victory is imminent. And even when he is on fire, as you can see, and I don't mean figuratively, I mean quite literally. Even then, he's still keeping his composure. I like that. I respect that. All of her abilities push the veil. All right, let's just expose weakness. And we're moving over here. There we go. Revel in blood. I like that. And I think, well, we could go for that for the heroic, but I think we're just going to end our turn here. Pascal begins to move up. Takes a shot. Potentially should spot him out first. Running by Derek override. Good reusing or recoil of our friends. Let's test that. Seems like a pretty solid strategy.
Good buffing. And whilst we're at it, Me. buff Pasco. If you insist, Lord Captain. And since we have no one else, might as well Isn't this a job <clears throat> for the serfs? give Saiken that one extra shot. Uh, good enough, I guess. One step closer. <clears throat> Let's get to it. I was wondering when those rebel troopers would actually yourself, start moving Over up there. to us. At your back and call. Indeed. Good. We still don't want to produce more veil degradation. That's the biggest problem with her psi abilities. I know what is to come. Rydia moves up. Could move forward, but that wouldn't really work very well in our favor. Plus, look at that. They do have a nice little demo trap up there. As if they would have known that someone would be moving in. Alright, let's just try to shoot. It's okay. Decent damage. How long does that last? For one round. Okay. I'm afraid not. Cassia is also slow because everybody is injured by now. If I may. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Me? Alright. Argenta Lord can move, I think. God Emperor, move through me. Be the At least a little bit. Heart. As the Emperor commands, I act. Well, almost. Can we hit these guys? Somehow, fifty-four percent chance. So. I need no guidance. Sure. Let's go. Purpose guides me. Almost. Can we hit them? No, we cannot. To this. Damage to oh, wow. Well, that sticks. Can't really get uh, anywhere close. Which we'll means we're going to fire normal shots. Victory is imminent. Force At these guys to attack me, and that's it. I don't want to run through a trap. They who descend the future on the battlefield.
No, can't even throw a grenade that far. Well, never mind then. Here we go. Pascal really is not doing very well. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Faith without deeds is worthless. Now we're too far away. Doubt is for the weak. Might as well reload. Pascal is moving back. I don't want him to be in any danger. Request denied. The order is contrary to dogmatic protocols. Good. Everybody just gains joint analysis, and then that is fine. Emperor, give me strength. If only that were possible. Uh, I thought you already had the buff. Is this just lasting for one round? I am a navigator, not a servitor. That is foolishness. Nah. All right, let's try that again. These guys have solidly moved out of range. I reject the very idea. Good, well, I suppose we can only reload. Yes, the sniper is not close enough. Nah, can't even reach them with Taudenting Scream. What a stalemate. This is aggravating. There is movement in the Empyrean. Not this Grayer's job. I'm not so sure. That is not my destiny. Mm. We'll do. There you go for warning. Just trying to be useful. It's nothing. But apparently it not even that works very well. Argentia. Can't really disarm anything here. 13%, 27%. In thy light I stand, and thy light I crave. Good, let's go. One. As the Emperor commands, I act. Two. I'll do it. Not great hits. Matter of fact, it's terrible hits. But finally, I will not. That is not the Emperor's will. Well, great job once again. Who's reveling in light already? You are. You are not. You are. In which case, Me. there you go. If you insist, Lord Captain. I'm afraid not. Do not dare ask. So 
sow the seeds of discord. Fantastic. That could be a hit. Correct, that finally is a hit. Saiken, with his range, can kill these guys. Mm. One step closer. Very good. Revel and Slaughter. Indeed. I'm not interested. It will be done. Can reload our weapon. That's about it. Um. Faith without deeds is worthless. Yeah, we're just standing here like Be careful sheep. not to cross my gaze. Good. Pascal at least gets a bit of constitution back. If I may. Thank God that's over. Your victory really, really means nothing. Aurora will come for you. And if she doesn't, no one will escape the final dawn. Okay, so you're a traitor. You let the convoy into an ambush, didn't you? Ah, no. Your entire convoy is gone. I took the whining pup. Camille's uniform. Six months with the governor's underling taught me their ways. I had no trouble posing as one of them. I had to make sure the scum didn't decide to turn on me and fly home. Do not let it go to your head that you took us down. My comrades are many and they are coming for you. If they are not, anyway, you'll see for yourself. Alright, let's kill this guy. Of course, takes out the sniper and shoots him point blank. Intriguing. Cool, what do we have here? A flamer. That seems like something our tech priest would use. Uh, okay. All of that. Normal laser pistols. Cool. So, tech priest. Can you use flamers? No. Can anyone here use flamers? And why is Saiken yet again there? Oh yeah. Of course. The angel of death, the sister of battle, can use flamers. You know what? Why not? Might be cool. I woke up with a feeling of wonder, as if a field of flowers was blossoming nearby. A child was saved from death. A thousand heretics were burning alive, begging and sobbing and howling. Wow, that was a massive ambush that we have gotten. I mean, it was predictable, right? So I guess no one here thought that we would not uh, run into an ambush as the guy looked a bit off. Another flamer. Loot is very well done. I think I've never seen a, a CRPG that did it so well, where it automatically detects uh, solid projectile range, medium, six ammo. Hmm. 
Let's see, so if that's a projectile weapon... That's not a bolter, it's just solid projectile. Uh, but it is a single shot weapon and we are more in the multi-shot range. However, this thing is actually dealing quite a bit. It's kind of a shorter range sniper, if that makes sense. And I have to wonder that might be just what the tech priest needs. Now that I think about it. Let's seize the opportunity. Another one of those weapons. Uh, tech priest has what kind of armor? Medium holy vestment plus logic armor and a massive tech bonus. So yeah, we're staying with the armor. I tread a path unexplored. Uh, I didn't want to run into these guys. Not good. Well, it's too late now. So, up alert goes here. Tech priest. Cover. Our angel of death goes here. You go here. Saiken goes there and I think we're pretty much ready to start the battle. Brace for impact. Uh, and that is certainly true. Let's brace for impact. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. If I shove him... Does he fall and kill himself? I will Let's do check my that. <laughs> Apparently he does. your back and call good taunt all of them and you're the pain battlefields are always drowned in scarlet unfortunately we can't uh, use our mind's eye the little stare uh, for starters isn't this a job for the serves? Iridia, go ahead, and then... I am a navigator, not a servitor. You take an action. I like the idea of all of you taking some serious ass whooping. Something along the lines As of the this. Very good. I act. Hmm. Fantastic. Finally, Argenta is back. Isn't this a job for the serves? Let's get to it. Out of my way. Oh. Completely have not seen this guy.
Good, Argenta moves up here, mainly because these guys are taunted. Uh, we are taking free actions. Doubt we are weak. taking concentrated fire, and we are. As the Emperor commands, I am. Oh, very good. Going to take a couple of shots there. Faith without deeds is worthless. Hmm. Well, Can't not bad, but. Someone. Is the body. Hold on. <laughs> um, let's take and flicks bleeding. That's a simple melee attack. Okay, well, in any case, we're going to move up. We are going to scout you. We're going to open your armor, expose the weakness, and we're hitting you. Oh, ho, 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 Pascal, my boy. You are hitting like a machine. I like it. Moving further forward into cover. On it. Yeah, that is only two veil. Which isn't bad. A little bit more analysis and we're good. Now, as we're going, how about I will triumph. Death shall <laughs> Saiken is starting with his uh, sniper to become a great damage dealer. I like what I'm seeing. And listen, whilst we're at it, I might as well triumph. force to dominate you. I don't know if that means he's moving closer to Saiken and then Pasca gets in takeoff opportunity, but I, th I suppose we're going to find that out. Indeed. One fewer target. A tactically sound approach. Victory is imminent. Mm. Say what you want, but Abelard also starts to be quite a force to be reckoned with, actually. There's the littlest there. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. As the Emperor commands, I act. Mm. Scared yet? Bit of burst fire. As the tactical imperative dictates, cogitation fails. All right, Iridia moves to here. Will do. Screams at this guy. Unfortunately, only for nine. Also, oh, that's very unfortunate. Analysis on the other guy, and we're good. Follow my lead. 
I will do my duty. Hmm, beautiful Arda Brent. It will be done. What does this here do? Immediately restores all AP. You know what? We have never used uh, that really, we'll so might as well use that. Mm, I took care of this one. Indeed. <laughs> Hard brand. My boy. So what do we have here? Scrap your autogun. Medium mesh chest plate. That's not good enough for us to wear. Embrace true power. It doesn't seem like the lavish mansion has been damaged by the explosion. But something is blocking the entrance from the inside. Hmm. Destroy the ancient anti aircraft battery. That's also what we need to do. And the frankly, we don't know where that is. My success is an irrefutable nice, certainty. an officer's chain sword. That's exactly what we need. And a fortress world mesh vest. Okay, we're collecting both of that. Might be something that our tank can use. So for starters... <clears throat> how's that for a sword? More armor penetration. Good parry. I think that's a great sword. Now, the only other question is... Hmm... What are we doing with you? You need to be a heretic in order to wear that armor. Okay, yeah, and the dodge penalty is quite, quite massive. Powers unseen, uncover my path. And the question is, do we want to go down? Can we come up again? Hmm. I would assume we can, but. You can never be sure. There was a lot more to be explored. Return to the upper way. Okay, now we're down here now. In the journey across the world, caught uh, the throes of a heretical insurgents, the Lord Captain accidentally witnessed an unholy rite that transpired in one of the maintenance rooms in the aqueduct. This abandoned nook turned out to be a heretic's gathering place that performed the grim and profane acts. The large group of rebels stood frozen in patient anticipation, all staring at the center of the room. No one moved, only murmurs. Open history, close history. Uh, although the barely visible behind the closed ranks of the insurgent rusted barrels with evidently flammable content. Okay, road traders surveyed the particular structure with great attention. 
The enormously mounted lens was uh, doubtlessly imbued with the power of the arch enemy, intimical to all of the nobles and virtues in the universe. Anyone caught in the corrupted light emits will uh, face a horrifying consequences. Uh, we're continuing to observe. As commanded by a grim unforeseen force, the insurgents fell silent. In a single movement parted, a thick, sticky silence filled the room. Heretic's gaze were turned towards a metal structure with a lens on top of it, standing in the middle of a circle um, of melting candles. The structure uh, flashed in a single sun ray and illuminated it. A uh, sound of barefoot broke in sinister silence as a man emerged from the deep shadows, a reeling he entered in the circle and collapsed on his knees in front of enormous lens. Not a second has passed before many rebels has gripped the fallen man's shoulders and hair and said, remember comrade the last sun ray, your behold will be yours, only shared with no one else, your final holy dawn. Um, okay, that's pretty fucked up. Shoot the warp lens. Blew up uh, the fuel barrels. Yes, that's what we are doing. Listen guys, that is exactly where the cliffhanger comes into play. Perfect cliffhanger, if you ask me. Well, that's where we're going to start the next time when it is Rogue Traders time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen today, leave a comment and a like down below. And uh, please, for the love of the Emperor, don't be so profane to forget cleansing that like button. You can see what happens when people uh, are so profane. Anyways, take care, have a good one, and see you the next time. Bye-bye.